It's Thursday, January 17, 2008, and you are watching The Ointment. I'm Steve Tatum, and today is Prohibition Remembrance Day, which I think is a holiday that really ought to be banned. Our top story, a former Republican congressman from Michigan has been charged with money laundering and conspiracy. And you know what this guy did? He raised money for Al-Qaeda. What? Yes, he raised money for Al-Qaeda because apparently he felt as a member of Congress he couldn't harm America enough. In entertainment news, Oprah Winfrey is starting her own TV network in conjunction with the Discovery Channel because apparently, and uh, this is what I've heard, there's still some money in America that's not Oprah's. Our old pal O.J. Simpson has been released. Yes, the juice is loose pending a trial in April where he's up on charges of assault and kidnapping and assorted other things. The judge told O.J. after O.J. violated the conditions of his release, you are skating on thin ice. Yes, that's an understatement. That ice is not thin. It is Callista Flockhart thin. MSNBC, the TV network, has conducted a poll on a very important pressing issue of the day. 51% of Americans feel that Britney Spears ought to have some visitation rights when it comes to her children. The other 49% felt like, well, one, they had no idea what was going on in that family and perhaps shouldn't render an opinion and or felt it's not news. However, MSNBC felt a little differently. They wanted to address the issues that were very important to those 51% of the people and uh, felt that uh, the 3% of the people that are interested in what's happening in Kenya, screw them. Well, since we're on the topic of celebrity news, Wesley Snipes has gone to trial for tax evasion. He owes apparently about $35 million in back taxes. Opening arguments were held in the case yesterday and Snipes' position is, it's not my fault. It's not my fault, that sounds awfully familiar. Isn't that what he said about Blade 3? In science news, the Food and Drug Administration has approved for consumption by you and me, the eating of food from cloned animals. Mmm, yummy. This meat tastes familiar. That's because it's identical to what you ate yesterday. I'm looking forward to it. Every day will be leftover day. And finally, Harvard University has announced the Hasty Pudding Award. It's Woman of the Year. This year is Paris Hilton, which is a great example to children everywhere because in order to be honored as the Woman of the Year at the most prestigious university on the planet, you don't have to be born into a family of privilege. You don't have to rely on your looks and shun your intellect. And you don't have to be a skank who sleeps around. No, none of this. To be a great success in America, you have to do all three. That's the ointment for another day. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Steve Tatum, and that's news. Catch you tomorrow, everybody.